Hi besties, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gigi and um, today <clears throat> I did not watch any horror movies and honestly I'm probably not going to. Um, I have been going, going, going since I got up. Well, since about an hour after I got up. I sat around for about an hour this morning, drank some coffee and chilled out. Actually, I'm going to pull my hair up right now while we chat because I'm feeling hot. And I can't handle that. Um, so there you go. Um, so I, uh, I just washed my hair today too. So this might not stay up very well. It falls so easy when it's super, super clean. Um, after I finished having some coffee and just taking a beat, I did my yoga. I had a shower. Um, Report on the hand. It's feeling a little better. We'll go into that in, uh, another time. Um, I think I actually did talk to you about it a little bit. Um, and then I just had so much stuff to do. I had um, some nails to finish. Um, some stuff came in that I had been waiting for. So I was so excited. Um, <clears throat> and I just had things to do. I needed to go to the store and cook my dog's food and just so many things today so i i just have not had a chance to even think about putting on movies i've not even really paid any attention to much of anything except putting videos up and whatnot so what i did watch today was watchmen oh shit it came on last night i totally forgot about it i honestly i had not had it on i knew it was coming I didn't know exactly when it was coming out. And then when I saw um, Jay Washington this morning tweet about it, and he's a, a reviewer and a player in the Schmodown, <clears throat> I saw him tweet about it. I was like, oh, shit, I missed it. I got to watch that. So as soon as I got home and I had dinner in front of me, I turned it on. I ate my dinner, and I watched it. And then I enjoyed a little coffee and a little dab and and just enjoyed it and here's the thing I do not really have a strong Watchmen background I've not read the comics um and I have seen the movie a couple three times and I enjoy it um but that's it that's all I really know about Watchmen is that movie and from what I hear from other people who do know the comics that's not really the best representation of the story so although I feel this is making me feel like I want to go back and revisit it because I did enjoy it I remember I enjoyed it uh and I like that dude that's in it he's in a movie I'm going to be watching coming up soon um he also plays the dead dad in weeds I want to say his name is Jeffrey he, I love him. I, I, I should remember his name because, and I've barely seen him in stuff. I've only seen him in small things, but I love him. Every time I see him, I love him. So, uh, anyway, the show. Let's, let's get to the meat of the episode three and a half minutes in. Sorry. I, I guess this is a Tati style video where the intro takes a really, really long time. She does that all the time. I think it's so cute. <laughs> Although, if I'm being honest, I don't watch every single one of her videos. I watch the unboxings because I just really want to see the PR packages. I'm not going to... I would love to win the contest. Am I going to win the contest? Chances are pretty slim. But I love watching the unboxings. And I love watching it when she's talking about something I'm interested in. Other than that, it's hit or miss. <clears throat> so Watchmen was... It, uh, it opens up with a little boy... And he's listen. He's watching a movie and listening to some music, some piano music. And it is in Tulsa. In nine, I want to say it's nineteen twenty one. Um, and he, you could tell he's freaking out. And the woman playing the piano is crying. So something bad is happening, and it sounds like there's a war outside. And the thing to remember about Watchmen is that it's an alternate history of America, okay? It's not meant to reflect accurately what's going on right now. 
Although the racism depicted in here is pretty fucking spot on, I'm going to say. So I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of angry white dudes with MAGA hats about this show. That's, that's the only thing I can guess. But I've not really looked too much into it. As, I'm sorry, my life is too precious to put any of you guys in my conscious. I cannot deal with you. Just go. So, anyway. Don Johnson is in it. And Jeremy Irons. Um, Tim Blake Nelson. As soon as I saw him, I was like, oh shit, that's Lou Gossett Jr. I love Louis Gossett Jr. He's amazing. I'm really going to screw up this guy's name, Sugar. I love you. I'm sorry. Um, Yahaya or Yah Yahya, maybe? Abdul Mateen II. Howard or Andrew Howard, I'm sorry. Uh, there is a long, long list. So I'm going to have to skip. Oh, Gene Smart is going to be in this. Oh, be still my heart. I am in love with Gene Smart. Um, so many good people. There's a long list of people that have not even been seen in any episodes yet. So, um, anyway, it, it starts off with this family. There are riots out in the street and pretty basically it's people with white skin fucking up people with black skin. So they're trying to get out. They can't get out. They get their son out with a friend of theirs with a and it, from what I can tell, it's it's a black man and a white woman, you know, I hate using those phrases, um, that are married and they're fleeing because uh, I'm pretty sure Tulsa ain't having none of that. And they hide this family's little boy and they drive off. They don't get very far. They shoot the shit out of their truck. They wreck. They're dead. And they had a baby. Baby's fine. And the little boy's fine. They wake up in a field. The little boy has a note in his pocket that his father stuffed in his pocket. And it says, look out for this boy. And um, he picks up the baby and starts walking away from the town. And that's the last you see of him for a while. Um, then you speed forward into what I assume is supposed to be present day in this world. Sorry, I had dinner and a little coffee. And of course, I must self-defeat and do something stupid in a video because why wouldn't I? You know what? If you don't laugh at yourself, it just makes everything really tough, right? Really tough. So, um, and we're in a time when racial tensions are still going on. Um, but even more... There is a group called the Seventh Cavalry, and they are, I guess, it's classified as a terrorist group. But the police run around wearing masks, and there's no like due process anymore. Just whatever we feel like doing, we fucking do that shit. So, seems like things are not really good in this version of Earth. Um, so a lot of things are going on. This one guy, it, uh, you pick up in the, uh, new, more modern times with this cop pulling over a guy. Guy was really cute, by the way. Um, and he, he sees some things in his truck that make him suspect he's from the seventh, seventh cavalry. And he asks for permission to unlock his gun so he can confront this guy. As I guess the guns are on lockdown in the police car. You have to have permission to use them. He asks for permission. The guy who's giving permission um, releases the gun, but it takes three tries to make it happen. And in the meantime, the dude in the truck gets out and shoots the cop through the windshield. Um, he doesn't die. He's in the hospital. And... When, and then you go, you cut to a school and there's Regina King and she is just wearing this gorgeous top. I am telling you, it is beautiful. 
I want that top so much. It is just sort of Asian inspired with, it just, mm, gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> and she's feeding cakes to some kids and talking to them and explaining how she used to be a cop. And as soon as she starts explaining about how she used to be a cop and you know cops wear masks now, you're like, bitch, still a cop. She's still a cop. So she gets home and her husband tells her, you've had a page for the last couple hours. She sees the page. She's like, I got to go. She pretends that she owns a bakery. So she goes to the bakery. She gets outfitted up as a cop. She finds out her friend or a fellow officer, I don't know if she knows him, got shot. And she goes out to round some, bust some heads and round some dudes up. She gets a dude. They eventually get him to spill some information. And they go out to this ranch and basically get all their comrades killed and almost everybody gets away on the ranch. It was about the stupidest mission ever saw in my life. But whatever, they get out and then the next thing you know, they're having a dinner together. The, the, the uh, chief of the police, I guess, is that's Don, Don Johnson. He is friends with Regina King and her family and they're all having dinner together. And then they go home, he goes home with his wife, and um, he gets a call that the dude that was shot at the beginning, he's fine. Um, oh, I did forget to mention that I saw Louis Gossett Jr. the first time in the show when she goes to the bakery. And he speaks to her and says, when is it opening? She tells him two months, and he says, I'll wait. So, um... And he's in a wheelchair. I feel like that's going to be important for some reason. And it is for something I'm going to say in a minute. So, um, they're having dinner, blah, blah, blah. Goes home. He gets the call. He gets into his uniform and he's going to the hospital to talk to this guy. And he's wearing his uniform because he wants to be respectful, right? He wants to respect what happened to this guy. And sure enough, it's some sort of setup because there are... Um, spikes in the road screws up his tires uh he gets out and the next thing you know um regina king and her man really hot doing it in the closet and um she's getting a call she can't finish so she goes out picks up the phone and it's a dude on there and i'm like wait is that louis gossett jr it was louis gossett jr so regina talks to him and she's like, what do you know? And he's like, no, this is what I know. I know who you are. Do not come with a mask. Come to this tree. Come alone. So she gets a shotgun. And in such a cool way, too. Regina is clearly going to be a serious badass in this show. I am all in for it. Even though it seems like I'm not going to really like the cops. So we'll see. We'll see how we'll reconcile that in my heart. Okay. <laughs> I love me some Regina King and she, a Regina King badass. How do you say no to that? So we'll see how it goes. Who? Um, so she gets to the tree. Sure enough, Don Johnson hanging in the tree. And who's sitting at his feet? Louis Gossett Jr. in a wheelchair. How did he get there with the wheelchair? It's up a hill in dirt and grass and a tree. He's an old ass man hold in a piece of paper that says, watch out for this boy. And that's how it ended. So I am so all in for the next episode. I cannot wait till Sunday to watch this. I will be more careful about making sure I get to it on Sunday so I can put the review up right away. This show is at least the pilot. Oh, I had so much fun with this, you guys. I cannot wait till the next episode. Totally all in for this. Um, I'm not willing to rate it. We'll rate it at the end of the season, okay? I just really don't want to rate episode by episode. That doesn't seem fair. Honestly, I'm not even sure. Let's see. Let's see. How many episodes are we going to get? Let's look at Internet Movie Database. Uh, do we have an episode guide here? Oh. Oops, I was on cast. I want to go. Don't turn away. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I think I went too far down. Don't leave me. 
Let me just put Internet Movie Database. Do, do, do. That worked. Um, we are going to get Episode Guide. Show me Episode Guide. Huh? We are only getting nine episodes, y'all. For the next eight weeks after today, we will be talking about Watchmen. So look forward to that. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Have a great night.